Hello, I'm John, and we're going to look at this optimization calculus question. It's rather complicated, and the person who posted this has said they've been trying for the past few days, and I can understand this one has a lot of moving parts, and there's a lot of, it's difficult to know what to put where. I'm going to start off with a diagram where I have the cylinder with hemispheres on each end, and it's uh, a tank, basically. So these little circles inside here are not actual surfaces. That's just to kind of give the, give the shape some definition. And also so I can think in terms of R and height kind of thing. Um, the material costs $5 per square foot for the lateral surface. These, the sides, the, the, the circular part, the, the cylinder part of it. And then for the hemisphere part, it's $10 per square foot. And we're wanting the dimensions of the tank that will minimize cost. Now, another constraint is that it has to be 4,000 cubic feet, which is good that we have that constraint because that makes it to where we can get it into one variable only. And then we can take a derivative, find out where that minimizes, and figure out exactly what R and H all have to be, and also what the volume is, not what the, what the, um, what the cost in the end is going to be that is minimized. I'm going to go to another board and I'm going to show I've got the height of the cylinder and I've got the radius of the circles that are pertained to the cylinder and also the radius of the hemispheres. So here is um, the surface area of the lateral portion is, uh, I'm sorry, this is actually the surface area of the hemispheres, 4 pi r squared. Uh, two hemispheres, of course, make one whole sphere. We can consider it that way. Multiply that by 10. That gives me 40 pi r squared. That's how much the, the material is going to cost for the hemispheres. For the lateral surface of the cylinder, that's 2 pi r h, because 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle, and it forms like a rectangle with a height of h. Multiply that by 5, which is $5 per square feet, I get 10 pi r h. Now, for the volume, the volume is supposed to be 4,000 cubic feet. The volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. The volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. What I can do here is I can solve for h. And you can do this on your own to figure out that this is what, this is one way that this um, h in terms of r can look. Now what I can do is uh, take my cost function which is in terms of R and H, I can plug in this for H and I get this, all this mess right here, <clears throat> which I can then distribute. And you can pause this video as much as you need and try and work this out on your own. Uh, I'm pretty sure this has to be the right thing because I've actually verified this in my graphing calculator as well. And we have 40 pi R squared and we have 40 thirds pi R squared uh, subtracted here. I subtract those like terms, I get 80 over 3 pi r squared plus 40,000 r to the negative 1. That is a function of a single variable, which I can do a derivative of. The reason I'm doing a derivative is because I want to find the slope, the rate of change of the radius, or, or sorry, of the cost with respect to the radius um, and with a fixed volume. So when I do that, I can figure out where it comes to a minimum where it levels off. In other words, where the derivative is zero, that makes a flat surface. So I'm going to go to my new board. I'm going to, take, I'm going to bring this function over here, right up here. I'm going to take you through every part of this. dc over dr, which is the derivative. I use the power rule, multiply by 2. I get 160 over 3. I get negative 1 times 40,000 is negative 40,000. Uh, and I decrease the exponent by 1. I'm going to set this equal to zero. I need to find out when this is zero. So I make this zero, and I begin to solve. I multiply both sides by r squared. I get r cubed here. Divide both sides by 160 over 3 times pi. I get 238.73 and something. I take a cube root. I'm going to round this to four decimal places, 6.2035. That's going to be the radius of the, of the circular uh, elements of this figure. Now I have a formula for height. So I go ahead and plug this in for that height. And we crunch the numbers a little bit and we get 20, about 27.861. 
Also, if we plug this all into the cost function, the cost should be about $9,671.95. Uh, you can verify this in a graphing calculator that this is where the minimum would be, the radius being this and the height being 27.861, and the cost, the minimum cost being $9,671.95.